Hello, boys and girls. My name is John McCormick. I'm the mayor of the great township of Woodbridge, and I'm here today to read to you. It's one of my favorite things to do as mayor when I go out to the schools and talk to the kids, and they ask questions, and I read them stories, and they just communicate with us and have a really good time. But I can't do that now because there's no school, so I'm doing it on tape, and you can watch it on YouTube. So this book is called Duck on a Bike. I saw a whole bunch of books upstairs, and I looked at this one. It looked really cool, so that's why I'm going to read this one. And as you can see, it's part of the summer reading program. For Emma, Duck on a Bike by David Shannon. One day down on the farm, Duck got a wild idea. I bet I could ride a bike, he thought. He waddled over to where the boy parked his bike, climbed on, and began to ride. At first, he rode very slowly, and he wobbled a lot, but it was fun. Duck rode past Cow and waved to her. Hello, Cow, said Duck. Moo, said Cow. But what she thought was, a duck and a bike? That's the silliest thing I've ever seen. Then Duck rode past Sheep. Hello, Sheep, said Duck. Bah, said Sheep. But what she thought was, he's going to hurt himself if he's not careful. Duck was riding better now. He rode past Dog. Hello, Dog, said Duck. Woof, said Dog. But we, what he thought was, that is a mighty neat trick. Then Duck rode past Cat. Hello, Cat, said Duck. Meow, said Cat. But what she thought was, I wouldn't waste my time riding a bike. Duck pedaled a little faster. He rode past Horse. Hello, Horse, said Duck. Nay, said Horse. But what he thought was, you're still not as fast as me, Duck. Duck rang his bell as he rode toward Chicken. Hello, Chicken, said Duck. Cluck, cluck, said Chicken. But what she thought was, watch where you're going, Duck. Then Duck rode past Goat. Hello, Goat, said Duck. Nah, said Goat. But what he thought was, I'd like to eat that bike. Duck stood on the seat and rode past Pig and Pig. Hello, Pig, said Duck. Oink, oink, said Pig and Pig. But what they thought was, Duck is such a show-off. Then Duck rode no hands past Mouse. Hello, Mouse, said Duck. Squeak, said Mouse. But what he thought was, I wish I could ride a bike just like Duck. Suddenly, a whole bunch of kids came down the road on bikes. They were in such a hurry that they didn't see Duck. They parked their bikes by the house and went inside. Then all the animals saw all the bikes. Now all the animals had bikes. They rode around and around the barnyard. This is fun, they all said. Good idea, duck. Then they put the bikes back by the house, and no one knew that on that afternoon there had been a cow, a sheep, a dog, a cat, a horse, a chicken, a goat, two pigs, a mouse, and a duck on a bike. The end. Pretty cool story, right? And now we have one more. It is called Bark, George. Are we ready? It's also about animals. It's also in the summer reading program. Bark George by Jules Pfeiffer. George's, oh, no, to Madeline. George's mother said, Bark George. George went, meow. No, George, said George's mother. Cats go meow, dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went, quack, quack. No, George, said George's mother. Ducks go quack, quack. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went oink. No, George, said George's mother. Pigs go oink. Dogs go arf. Now bark, George. George went mmm. George's mother took George to the vet. I'll soon get to the bottom of this, said the vet. Please bark, George. George went meow. The vet reached deep down inside of George and pulled out a cat. Bark again, George. George went quack, quack. The vet reached deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a duck. Bark again, George. George went oink. The vet reached deep, deep, deep down inside of George and pulled out a pig. Bark again, George. George went moo. The vet put on his longest latex glove, then he reached deep, 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 deep down inside of George. And I know what he did. He pulled out a cow. Bark again, George. George went, wait, 
George went arf, I'm sorry. George's mother was so thrilled that she kissed the vet and the cat and the duck and the pig and the cow. On the way home, she wanted to show George off to everyone on the street. So she said, bark George, and George said, hello. That's pretty funny, isn't it? She tried to get him to bark all this time. He didn't bark, he did all different animal noises. And at the end, he did a human sound and said hello. Well, that's a pretty funny book, boys and girls. I hope you're still reading and you're gonna look at the whole summer in front of you when you can read any kind of books you want. So I hope you keep challenging yourself, keep reading and have a good summer. Thank you very much.